To me, Lunches of Love is a way for the community to love my kids. Uh, it's, it's a way that um, people in the community can donate uh, to help our kids that are less fortunate, uh, to make sure that they have food over the weekend or over long breaks when we have spring break, or Christmas break, um, even the bags that they get for the summer are contained full of all those goodies that they love. They look forward to those bags. Um, we have kids that I come in contact with every day that have not had anything to eat and sometimes can be behavior issues and when you get to the bottom of it they've not eaten at home so there's you know that aspect of they're just hungry and they don't know how to handle it and so having lunches of love we're able to you know on Thursdays they're asking hey are the bags coming you know food is it's a it's for the brain they need it for learning you know, if they're hungry, they don't care about reading. They don't care about math because they're hungry. Lunches of Love has been a great program for us here at the school. You know, as the principal, I think a lot about kids going home. Uh, I know how many kids receive free and reduced lunch. I know how many kids are hungry on a daily basis at our school. So knowing that my kids are taken care of over the weekend or a week full of, uh, um, I would say, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, I'm not as worried about my kids being hungry. We have a teacher that is a member of one of the local churches. And so when she attends um, at church on Wednesday, Wednesday night, she helps put those bags together even. So they load them up in her vehicle and she drives them to school. One of our custodians will go out and unload her vehicle and bring them in. And then we have student ambassadors that will go around and deliver those to the classrooms. Um, and then we return those laundry baskets that they come to us in to fill up for the next week. For me, it's comforting to know that when those when those bags are packed back at, at each of those local churches and, and, and those community uh, places where they pack them, it, it's comforting for me to know that those are being prayed over for my kids. I did have a student also tell me that, that they don't have a lot of money at home in order to spend on, on extras like that. And so she looks forward to those bags where she kind of gets some of those treats that she wouldn't have otherwise. Um, we have grandparents raising their grandkids and they're trying to make ends meet. They've already raise their own children and for whatever reason uh, they've got their grandkids back in their home and so when they're on those fixed incomes and and their grocery budget is slim these bags help you know help them especially if if all the children in that family get a bag then it helps you know helps each of them have the same thing um, and and you know can can help fill those tummies um, I've been with in the school system long enough that where lunches of love started so before Lunches of Love and then having Lunches of Love. And every year, there's always, you have those one or two kids that they are so thankful and they are so eager for that bag that they are asking you every week. They are constantly coming. Hey, you know, they don't want you to forget, hey, I get one of those bags, right? You're still going to bring that to me, right? Taking care of, of those who need to be taken care of, showing them love, showing them grace and caring for them each and every day. Uh, that has nothing to do with professional or personal. That's, you know, that, that to me is our ministry here in the way that we serve uh, God in our professional world. No greater investment than to invest in children uh, and, and to invest in children that don't have what other children have so that you make them on an equal playing field, that they're here to learn and they're happy and they're not hungry. Uh, for those that are already participating, you know, thank you. Uh, to those that are, are on the fence or wanting to, to find something to plug into, to something to invest in. You know, you're never going to go wrong with investing in children and, and you're investing in children who need your help.